Welcome back, Foul Mouth Fishing. It's that time of month. Uh, today is, I think, the 10th. <laughs> I could be wrong. Oh, it's the 12th. 12th of September. Long day, long week of long days. So forgive me. Things are starting to run together. Um, but today's September the 12th, and this afternoon on my doorstep arrived my brand new Mystery Tackle Box Elite Edition for September. I've seen a few uh, unboxings, so I'm kind of hopeful that in this box are some really trick baits. Um, there's a couple of baits that I saw in a handful of other unboxers um, that I'm kind of fingers crossed going to get. Uh, get the handy dandy knife over here. As you can see, the big brown giant marshmallow sofa is long gone. I uh, got some new furnishings along with the new paint scheme and everything for this area, so uh, I'm happy with that, although it's been arduous to get this done. So let's crack into this. If uh, you don't know, Mystery Tackle Box is a subscription mail order tackle uh, box system. Uh, there's three tiers, your standard, your elite is the highest tier, your standard is the lowest tier, and they have a pro box in the intermediate. Um, each system has a series of boxes that are equated to different types of species of fish as well as their their level trim package so this is specifically a bass box because I'm primarily a bass fisherman this is the elite box which is their highest tier uh, it's a little bit more pricey obviously than the standard or the pro and what it allots you is an opportunity to get baits and tackle that you might not be able to see at your local retailer or, or your local um, tackle shop. Uh, it gives you a little bit of an, a possibility of stepping outside of your comfort zone and perhaps throwing something that you might not always throw. People, some people don't like spinner baits. Uh, they rather throw like a chatter bait or a fluke. This might have a spinner bait in there and it kind of pushes you to try that. Opens your eyes a little bit. Inside every box, Every month is a little measuring tape scale and a series of little, uh, you know, online social media um, critiqued ideas you can get if you catch a 6-inch panty fish, a 12-inch trout, 14-inch bass, 16-inch walleye, or 18-inch anything else. Uh, you can post that on their social media site with a photo and you have the opportunity to possibly win, uh, you know, a discount card, coupon, or possibly even, I think, a whole box of baits. So, each box comes with a little Dibble Digest. This is a little tip and trick technique pamphlet. Uh, this month it's Catch and Release Fishing Practices, uh, How to Fish Hard Body Swim Baits, which gives me an idea that there's a hard body swim bait in there somewhere. Um, a little, little Carl's Corner about uh, the real KVD, Carl Van Dibble, and how he got his job. You also have a little word search. If you have kids, give them this. They can be happy and keep them entertained. Every month they have a new sticker. Each sticker's independent of the last month for the most part. I mean, sometimes you will get a repeat over seasons. Uh, this is pretty cool. A cowboy riding a crankbait. That's pretty cool. Catch Co. Company sticker. I like that. That'll go in my little montage of stickers up above my new shelving system. They have your add to the box sheet. This is a little card. Uh, you can add baits from the Shop Carl's website um, and put it in your next month's subscription box so you won't have to pay shipping because it'll come with the box that's already getting mailed to you. So that saves on the overall cost, puts a little couple more pennies in your pocket. Um, this month, I have eight baits in my box. This box weighed a little over a pound. I always keep a track of uh, the the transition from the warehouse through the postal service to my house and I keep an eye on the weight of the box. A heavier box, aside from terminal tackle like weights, tungsten and what have you, a uh, heavier box obviously is a good mo a good way to judge whether or not you have a good quantity of baits and possibly some some good baits. So with that be it as it may, eight different, uh, two, four, six, eight different products today. We'll start with the the most expensive and work our way down to the least expensive. That's how they do their their digression of their card. So first we have the Bagley Bolsa Wake Bait. So 
Bagley Balsa Wake 1. So this is a purple and white wake bait. Looks sort of like a, a square bill cranker, but it's not. It's a balsa wood, so it's surface. And the plow on the on the bill is is more vertical. It's not completely uh, perpendicular to the bait's lateral line or median line. It's got a slight angle to it, but that allows it to wake rather than dive. If this was straight up and down, it would cause so much water displacement in the front that it would just not not have much action at all. It would be just a, a you know like trying to drag a brick through water. Um, and too much of a steep angle, of course, naturally, as you know, a, a long bill deep diver, it would just pogo stick down in the water. So this is that nice intermediate wake bait profile bill. It's a purple, white, and chartreuse. So that's a pretty cool color scheme you got there. Sharp, sticky trebles. Uh, this bait, they retail this. Again, balsa baits are a premium now because people don't really push balsam that much anymore. They're more apt to do resin or plastic. Uh, $10.99. It's a little pricey, um, you know, for an old school bait, but uh, if the performance is there, then it's worth the, worth the money. Uh, this is a zero to one foot retrieve. Obviously, it's a weight bait, so it's a surface bait. Uh, this bait weighs five sixteenths of an ounce, and uh, that's pretty cool. So that'll definitely go into my into my arsenal of top water. Again, we're in the we're in the fall transition, so the fish are going to come back to that top water bite if they've been a little lax with the hot hot water. Now the water's cooling back down in that seventy degree range. You start start to see a lot more of that top water uh, bite come back for you, and we all good anglers, you know, happy anglers, we all like that top water action. We love seeing that fish come up and just slurp up the baits out of the water. It gives you that rush. Uh, Perfection Lures Shore Hookup Swim Bait Heads. Perfection Lures Shore Hookup Swim Bait Heads. Now, I have some swim bait heads similar to the same company. Um, not nearly this heavy. Uh, okay, so these are the L-Lock Keepers, which um, I think the other ones I have, don't have that, but uh, this is a red-headed one-ounce swim bait jig head. That is a massive, massive jig head. You got two of them. They are ounce each. So right there's two ounces of weight in my box. Again, hoping for some some more baits, maybe some hard baits. But right here you got two ounces of weight uh, right off the bat. Um, they've got an interesting keeper set up. Let's see if I can pop one out of the package here. I know I'm not very good at these unboxings of packages, but there are some tricks to the trade that I've picked up over the time. So we'll get this one out. It's got an interesting keeper set up. So it's a nice stout hook. It's got that red profile head, line tie on the top, and it's got this interesting bracketing keeper for your soft plastic. It's got a screw, screw lock center keeper down, down the shaft. Obviously, it's got these two uh, um, wires off the bottom so that it sticks up, so it you know, rests on the bottom and keeps that profile of your bait standing upright. But it's got this interesting little, like, paper clip style keeper. That's kind of interesting. I've never, never had a swim bait head, uh, jig head, with that style of keeper ever. L-lock keeper system holds bait in place, keeps bait flush with the head at all times. That is an interesting design trick that uh, that Perfection Lures has come up with. So it'll be interesting to put this on, put on um, maybe a, a boot tail swim bait and, uh, and see what the profile looks like, how it acts, and compare that to, to, uh, to other swim bait heads that I do have, other jerk, uh, jig heads that I do have. But that's cool. Uh, again, Perfection Lures, this is a $9.99 uh, package two pack one ounce each with that interesting keeper setup um, going down perfection lures pre-rigged nico kit oh, so i got two two items from the same company this one perfection lures best lure on tour weighted rigged and ready to go i have seen this in another unboxing which is cool because i was kind of hoping for this um, i do have my own wacky ring tools in fact, those who follow this channel know from the last 
Angler's Hall package. They, they supplied a uh, wacky rig tool in that, and I previously owned my own. Um, but this takes a lot of the guest work out of it, especially if you have youngsters uh, or you don't have that tool. These come pre-rigged with a wire ring rather than the rubber ring. So you've got this wire ring, almost like a split ring, uh, down, the, down the wacky rig point of the worm. It's got a long finesse style tail, so it's not centered on the worm, which is one of the reasons I like a wacky rig tool. I can adjust where I place and position that, that round rubber ring to get the action that I want. If I want a butterfly action, or if I want it a little more nose down with a nail head, uh, these do come already pre-weighted in the nose, um, as well as having a size one hook and a bonus weedless hook. So this one has a, uh, looks like mono filament, no, I'm pro well, mono or uh, well, it's a fishing line weed guard on the, on the side. So obviously not a high end, Weed, uh, weedless setup. It's not a wire weedless or the, the large brush guard weedless head, but uh, it comes with a little bonus weedless hook here, and then you got your standard hook that comes with it, and the set of uh, six pre-rigged, pre-weighted with nail head weights in the front, uh, wacky rig uh, worms. Um, unfortunately, I don't see a color to this specific worm, but it looks pretty much like a uh, Blood worm style, like that that uh, deep, rich brown with some black pepper in it, uh, and just a hint of uh, green pumpkin to it, just to lighten up the brown. But uh, yeah, that's it. it. Looks good. Looks good, and it seems to be a very soft and pliable plastic. Uh, Perfection Lures does have some pretty good consistency with their soft plastic material. Uh, I don't know exactly what company they use for their soft plastics, but it's a it's a good bait. Uh, this one is again also $9.99. So both per per Perfection Lures are a $9.99 option in this box. Nico Rigs, again, handy if you have a child. Uh, it's already pre ready to go, and you can just tie it on. And if they, they lose it, they can just pop it right on with the, with the next ring. Um, and wire is definitely going to hold up. Uh, next, we have this I was definitely at, uh, looking forward to Lunker Hunt's Yappa Frog. Um, Unfortunately, the one that I saw in the other gentleman's unboxing uh, for Bee Fishing, shout outs to Bee Fishing, was um, the black color scheme. This is actually the, the legit frog color scheme. And uh, basically, it's got a pliable rubber winglet on the front to catch water. It's not the hard plastic that, it might, that you might assume. It's pliable, soft plastic. It's got a very, very supple and soft body, soft body frog setup. Um, good skirts, they're not too long, so they're not going to cause a lot of extra short strikes. Uh, this is legitimately a modern interpretation, a crossover between your soft body frog and the jitter bug. <clears throat> and I do have an old jitter bug. old jitterbug here. Now this is old school, long time classic, proper jitterbug. Uh, long time, long, long time ago, I repainted this with um, an actual glow in the dark paint. Uh, so after time, this will take up the UV light and uh, or the, the sunlight and then in dark water conditions it'll glow a uh, un high intensity green. But, uh, yeah, so this was originally a frog color, too, but I co covered it in so much of that high, uh, high visibility, reflective, uh, you know, uh, glow-in-the-dark paint that it kind of muted out the tones. Um, that said, standard, original jitterbug, old school, you can see by the rusty rivets. <laughs> it's been, caught, been tossed a lot. So uh, this is the Fred Abagas jitterbug. Uh, this is 2207425 model, or patent, I should say. And the Lunker Hunt Yappa. And you can see this has got that hard metal uh, flange for catching the water so it can, it can walk and, and do that textbook jitterbug uh, ripple effect. This one has that soft, 
pliable one. So this is probably a lot better as a modern interpretation. You don't have to worry about getting snagged up, getting caught, or this bending out of position and causing you to lose the proper action. This is more apt to bump off of something and return to its original cupped shape and keep that profile so it'll act and react and have the same action nonstop over time. You don't have to keep you know, coming back with your fingers and then gently tweaking the aluminum back into position. So that's cool. And I'm a long-time fan of jitterbugs. They catch smallmouth, they catch largemouth, they catch pike. They'll catch pretty much anything because that topwater bite, this is definitely a, an old-school attractant to, uh, to the topwater action. And yappa, lunker hunt, yappa frogs are a pretty good thing. I don't. This is my first yappa, so I'm going to try that. I do have similar profiles from other bait companies that I've had great success with, and I'm sure lunker hunt's pretty good, too. Uh, that one is $8.99. Next, uh, down the list, Z-Man Sling Blades Spinnerbait. Spinnerbaits. Z-Man Sling Blades. So this is a one-half ounce. So a half ounce Z-Man. Uh, this is from Luke Clausen, who's a, who's a uh, Bass Elite Pro. It's a double willow. I prefer a Colorado and willow blade. I'm not a big fan of double willow blade um, spinner baits. I like the addition of the vibration that a Colorado blade lends, uh, where the willow is mostly flash. It does a very little, I mean, it does have vibration, but it's not nearly as much as the Colorado's cupping action. But uh, so you got the white chartreuse, standard color, white and chartreuse. Double willow blade set up there. It's a nice big willow blade. I do like that. Uh, I just prefer to have a medium-sized Colorado ahead of it rather than willow to willow. Um, beautiful, beautiful head design. So this gentleman has awesome artistic ideas with the, with the head design. 3D ice. Little tinsely flash in that uh, in that skirt material. Little blocks of foil within the chartreuse. So that adds a lot. Um, Again, it's just an open loop, single wire. Uh, it's not closed up, and I will leave a link at the end of the video uh, to check out my video on how to close this gap up so that your line is less likely to slip down and run this bait off, off center, off true, or possibly come up and, and scar and mess up your blade action because you don't want this, you don't want your, your tied line to slip up and then get caught on this front blade when you're casting and cause all kinds of difficulty. So I have a, a little helpful quick tip on how to keep your spinner baits running correctly and making tying them on a lot easier. Again, with youngsters or, or what have you, it can be a pain in the butt when they go to tie this on. If they don't tie the knot the tight, uh, it has a tendency to ride down or ride up the shaft of this wire and can cause some issues, put it mildly. Um, that's cool. That uh, Z-Man is a $7.99 spinnerbait. Uh, next on the line is Booyah's One Knocker. So I know what this is, because I have a few. There you go. Booyah Baits, the One Knocker. Awesome color. I do like this. This is the, uh, the bone color. <laughs> they call it the BYA One Knocker Crush. So the Booyah One Knocker Crush Bait. Uh, they have great, great treble hooks on these right out of the box. Um, everybody knows that a lipless crank, a one knocker, especially during the fall season, or as your as your fish are starting to become a little more lethargic, um, it always, always is a good bait to run to. There's that that nice deep one knocker thump as opposed to the tiny little BBs that you see in a lot of liplesses. This is a nice little smaller profile, which I like. Um, the bone color, you're looking at a quarter ounce bait. So this is good for pond fishing. It's good for creek fishing. Uh, you can just swim this along, bounce it off of some riprap or off a stump here and there. Uh, you will have to be careful because you can get this hung up. Um, one, tr well, I'll, I'll share a trick on these um, for changing out your hooks for a larger hook on the tail end um, or a larger hook on the front end because 
by swapping out for a larger hook on the tail rather than the large can affect one, it can prevent a lot of the uh, of getting snagged up uh, because it'll ride the, the bait a little bit more nose down with a larger one on the front. And sometimes I just literally take the hook off the back and just run the single hook um, just to prevent that, that vibrating tail as it's whipping past from, uh, from getting snagged on things, especially in, in heavy grass areas. Um, because this, this is pretty, pretty protected as it's bouncing off of objects. It'll shunt the hook away. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a great little bait for a quarter ouncer. I'll definitely enjoy seeing what I can catch on this uh, in a little bit. Just put that aside. The Booyah's One Knocker. This is a $7.99 uh, lipless crankbait. Um, next to last, Booyah Bankroll Jigs. So I've got another Booyah Bait Company. This is their bankroll jig. I have some in the past. This one is the uh, is the MTB's Black Blue. So it's this is an MTB exclusive color. This is the three eighths ounce jig. I do like these. I'm I'm kind of partial to the jig head stand up jigs that don't they don't run perfectly horizontal to the uh, I mean excuse me perpendicular uh, to the bottom of the water. Uh, I prefer to have a little bit of an angle, similar to those red ones, but this one stand up sits straight up and down, and that's not exactly what I go for. I prefer them to keel up just slightly, uh, especially because I'd like to fish a lot of softwater craw baits, and that defensive thing is more on an angle where they're kind of looking up. Uh, rather than them standing dead up on their tail, which is illogical, because they'd normally be on their hind legs and, and uh, have their claws and pincers out. That be it as it may, uh, again, excellent hook company or excellent hooks on this company bait. Um, Booyah makes some great baits, great paint schemes. Bait that the uh, black blue is definitely going to be great for the cooler water, especially if it rains and the water gets a little murky. Um, and this time of year, fall transition, you're going to see a lot more of the rain coming in, um, as always. And awesome, awesome bristle weed guard there, too. So that's a good plus. You know, a good bristle weed guard keeps you, keeps you on point. Now that, that jig right there, the Booyah Bankroll, which we've seen in the past, this is a $4.99 jig. Uh, and finally, Lunker City Sluggo. Lunker City Sluggo in chrome. I know this color. Um, six inch Sluggo, number 404, or excuse me, 104 chrome. And that's interesting. <laughs> okay. Made in the USA, Lunker City, you get a five pack. However, here's a little piece of information. Quantity in package, there's a black dot over the zero, and it says one. Quantity per bag, one black spot. It's supposed to be 10. <laughs> That's supposed to be 10, MTB. I know my Lunker City bags. You've given me half a bag of Sluggos, six inches. Yeah. Hmm. Naughty, naughty. Not pleasing. I'll see. So you got yourself a... Finesse style, six inch soft plastic in that chrome flake. It's just basically clear uh, plastisol with a uh, glittery chrome and gray. Um, it's got a wonderful finesse wiggly tail because this plastic from Lunker City is really good quality uh, soft buoyant plastic. Um, it works out really well. It's, there's very little salt content in it so it does float up and put probably, see I wouldn't have put it on that red, on the red jig head. I'd have put this on a blue or a, well, more or less a, a white or a, or a black jig head. But uh, yeah, this is not going to work on this giant red one. And I'd be hard pressed to even throw it on, on this one. Maybe I will do this on a Carolina rig or maybe I'll do it on a, another jig head that I have. Uh, Lord knows I have plenty of jig heads. Let's see what we got here. So, yeah, this is more. This right here is more something that I throw it on. Here's a here's a chatterbait. 
There's a chatterbait in white, and that's something I'd be happy to swim. Swim this profile on. It gives you a nice, large, long profile for a bigger fish. Um, not to mention, small fish will still try to chomp it too. I've seen some small fish with some very large bait in their mouths and down their gullets. Uh, even here, here's a nice little uh, quarter ounce. There's a little quarter ounce jig head. If I wanted to fish this, just nip a little off the tip, make it a little more flush, and run that. It looks almost like an eel. So, that's cool. The Lunker City Sluggo 5-pack, although it should be 10. I'm not naive. Um, $3.50 they're selling that in Shop Carl's. So there you have it. That's the eight baits that came in this month's September Elite Box. Um, if you are interested, I always leave in the bottom the link to the Shop Carl so you can go check it out, pick up your own box. Uh, there's coupon codes, and uh, you can get these boxes. If you get the standard box, I think it's still uh, as cheap as $5 uh, or so. So, um, yeah, that's kind of disappointing because I know better. Other than that, it's still an awesome box. So we got uh, the Bagley's Balsa Wake Bait, $10.99. Perfection Lures Sure Hookup, the big red head uh, bait heads, they're $9.99. The Perfection Lures pre rig Nico which is an awesome thing to have a pre-rigged. It reminds me of the Creams, Cream brand pre-rigged worms, and they catch fish, no doubt about it. Uh, $9.99. Lunker Hunt's Yappa Frog, awesome. I've been wanting that. That's $8.99. The Z-Man Sling Blade, Z Spinner Baits, uh, $7.99. Booyah's One Knocker, awesome, awesome rattle trap. That's uh, $7.99. The Bankroll Jig, which is adding to another one of my Bankroll Jigs because I have a few of those. That's $4.99 from, uh, from Shop Carl's, and then the Lunker City's Bag of Sluggos for $3.50. Uh, you tell me in the comments, do you think this was a decent box? Do you think I got uh, ousted or shammed? I think, all in all, all things considered, I had some very great luck in having some excellent boxes. I got, I gotta say, I'm hard pressed to say that this is a disappointment. It's not that bad, I'm actually very pleased. And in the transition period, as the water temperatures are cooling down, uh, these baits and these profiles are certainly going to catch fish. Uh, regardless if, if you're off a boat, you know, doing the old wacky rig, or if you're off the shore trying to uh, get that topwater bite to come back before they, they dive deep, deep during the, winter, during the winter months. So, I hope you liked. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video. Um, I'm getting closer and closer, although YouTube's always crazy with their numbers of hitting that 500 mark. When I hit the 500 mark, I've got a big prize pack to come out to some lucky uh, current subscriber. And uh, I hope this was entertaining and educational. If you got a, a Elite Box or a Pro Box or a Standard Box, throw in the comments. Do you think that this box was decent? Uh, would you upscale to the Elite or the Pro? Um, would you... Did you like baits in your box that were better than mine? If you got something different, share in the comments that, uh, yeah, I get the Pro Box and I got this. And I think it's way better than the Yappa Frog, for example. Or the, uh, the Lunker Hunt, these, uh, these, these uh, chrome soft plastics. Maybe you got a Fluke or something or a Paddle Tail. Uh, share, because I always like to converse. I always like to see what everybody else gets and compare to what I got. That's kind of part of the fun about these mystery tackles, seeing what I got compared to you in another region of the area, and uh, see what your confidence baits are compared to my confidence baits. So, as always, foul mouth fishing family, God bless, tight lines, and uh, I'll catch you on the next cast. Bye, hookaholics.